Our Tuesday podcast, Sunny Cuba. Hola. Hey. Hey. It's the pre-show. Been In the good. pre-show. Oh. oh yes. Hey, what? Hey, Frank, what are you cooking? I'm cooking a Cuban arroz con pollo. Uh-huh. I sh- I did shed a tear. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it. We have to mention it. It's 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 Tom Brady retiring. So it's okay. It's okay. Cool. International news for all of our international viewers. Are you kidding me? Twenty two years. Um, seven Super Bowls. Uh, three NFL MVPs. He was the leading uh, in all time passing touch touchdowns, NFL's all-time passing, passing yard leader, and most career win, 243. Uh, what a career it's been for Tom. Um, I, I can tell you personally, is- um, football will never be the same. Uh, t- to the GOAT. Cheers. Bucky looking good. Andre looking good. Daisy too, looking buddy. good. Yeah, good, man. Yeah, tell, the viewers, tell the viewers where you are. Well, thank where you very you? much. You know, Sunny Veradero. Let's know. go. Right? <laughs> right? Good I idea. think it's pretty awesome that we, we managed to pull this off. No, yeah, that's, that's good. It's Three like, different right? countries. This is like next right? Level it's like happening. a triangle. It's like oh, the Bermuda yeah. Triangle yeah. going on. Three, three dip- exactly, <laughs> bud. And that's how I see it. You know? That's how I see it. It's like, so Frank, what are you cooking? Tell us what you're cooking. So it's a uh, bone and chicken with some seasoning like cumin, salt and pepper with olive oil. And then I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to cook some uh, onions and peppers and then put it back together, food? cook some rice, and then uh, it's going to be good. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We, I wish we? I could ship yeah. you some. Yeah. Oh, geez. We got a show ready, you know, like seeing all these musicians and asking we'll show some them. pictures. I'll show some of the pictures, maybe. Well, yeah, show some pictures. A pre-show. Okay, hold on. Right hold on. on. That's part of it, right? That's it. What? Oh, hey, look, at that, Frank. Frank. look at Frank. Look what he's got. Oh, that chicken's looking oh. amazing, babe. Looks really it's good. Cooked. Well, thanks. Yeah. Andre, thanks should food. we start the oh. show? Yeah, let's uh, let's focus, boys. Uh, We're gonna start the show. That was the pre-show. occupation in depth we come to you every single week now don't forget to subscribe share and like the content Welcome, welcome. It's February 1st, 2022. Happy Lunar uh, New Year. It yeah. is officially the year of the tiger. It is. Tiger. Tiger. Um, and we have a special show for you today. Uh, we're coming live to you from, Cu- from Cuba. Yeah. Sunny Cuba, uh, Veradero. We have our chef's fr- Chef Francesco in the house cooking some chicken Hello. and rice. And um, what else have we got going on? Uh, t- we got an interview topic. with Henry. Henry. Oh, oh yes. yes. 
yes. The first in-depth interview with Henry <laughs> that Andre worked on. That's super exciting. You're going to stick around for that. If you can... island of Cuba resembles a crocodile. Hence, it is also referred to in Spanish as el crocodrilo or <laughs> el caima. So that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That is, yeah, and, yeah, I could see it now. Um, another fun fact is that there are now just two countries in the world where Coca-Cola cannot be bought or sold. At least Boycott. not officially. Hmm. They are Cuba and North Korea. Uh -huh. uh, with the literacy rate in Cuba is 99.8%, which is one of the highest in the world. Yeah. And what? They have, yeah. Education. They have, a, they have a super good health system as well. Yeah, they are, they're very educated. Like, they take their education quite seriously over there. They're yep. not messing around with the age. In, in, in fact... Um, one of the world's greatest public health achievements happened in Cuba in 2015 when it eradicated mother to child transmission of HIV and syphilis. Isn't that wow. incredible? Yeah. Stuff. Apparently, there's really good scuba diving there. The water's pretty clear. Oh. Wow, it's very clear. I'd love to see you yeah. Cuba one day. They probably have a lot of old ships that have been like sunk there, you know, because of the water yeah. probably changed fast and That's beautiful. the corals. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, love the old cars. I mean, too, know? man. It's so cool. It's nice there. It's like going back in the past, eh? Time yeah. travel. But they made those cars to last, eh? If we uh... well, they 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 fix them themselves, you know. They yeah. it's for them, especially in the older cars. There's a lot of less, uh, you know, electronics and technology, so it's a lot easier to sim to to fix. The yeah. piston breaks or the something, the rod breaks. They're able to fix it, get the parts, and make the parts, and then fix it. You know, it's yeah. not like all electronics and all plastic. Those are are meant to last. And, there's have you no been? snow. And... Have you been to Cuba? Yeah, I did. I okay. did. Oh, really? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So Let's crazy. do it. In the Caribbean and Central America, it's become comparable in quality, consistency, and cost. Worse still for American smokers, your Cuban cigar could be fake. Some experts suggest that up to 95% of all Cuban cigars in the US are actually counterfeit. So why are Cuban cigars so desirable? And is that why they're so expensive? For more than 200 years, the culture of cigar making in Cuba hasn't changed. In a process that takes about a year, tobacco leaves are grown, harvested, and hung in drying houses called secaderos before a slow fermentation occurs, which enhances flavor, aroma, and burning characteristics. Each leaf is inspected for its type, appearance, and quality, and handed to a torcedor, a highly skilled cigar roller greatly respected in Cuban society. Bueno, yo me llamo José Castelar Cairo. Trabajo aquí en la Criada. Soy tabaquero hace 61 años. Para hacer un tabaco aquí en Cuba se depende de cinco tipos de hojas. Una hoja que se llama ligero, que es el que da la fortaleza en el tabaco. Otra hoja que se llama seco, que es el de la aroma Otra hoja que se llama volado, que es el que se encarga de la combustión dentro del trabajo. Le sigue el capote, 
envuelve el, el ligero el ser del volado. Incredible. Y la última ¿Sí? es la capa que es la que viste en cada uno. Lot of words. Because I, I do smoke Cuban cigars. That's the only thing I smoke. So. Oh yeah. Once in a while, like with a nice yeah. scotch or whiskey, I smoke a Cuban cigar. I remember when you guys, yeah. when you, you when you got married, I remember you had a bunch. Yes, those way were good back, from Cuba too. Forty percent of way customers. Way back when. What? Love it. Yvette and Yvonne are used to standing out. In 2014, the twin sisters started their own brand of cigars called Tres Lindas Cubanas. Since then, they're often the only Afro-Cuban women in a room full of men. Imagine walking into a door where you want to sell your cigars and they don't even think that you smoke cigars, you know? We don't start at zero, we start at negative five. We still get like 20 questions, like an interrogation to, to find out if we know anything about cigars. If this is really a brand, yeah. questions that I don't hear any. Pretty long story, but uh, pretty yeah, cool. interesting. And uh, the other thing uh, the the uh, Cubans are known for are baseball players, and apparently one of the best baseball players ever is a Cuban Eagle, known as El Maestro, was one of the best two-way players in baseball history. He played every position except catcher in a career that ran from 1922 to 1950. The Higo was the first player to be elected to the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, Mexico, and Cuba. He could hit so for 28 power. years. Wow. And uh, one of my favorite uh, authors, as you know, Hemingway, lived there, eh? He had a house there for like 20 years in Cuba. That's where oh. he wrote... He wrote his classic, uh, Old Man in the Sea. Which I thought was cool. I think this, this is good. It's a bit of a... And when Hemingway returned to Cuba four years later, it was not the lure of the island's rum that led him back but the great fishing. It fishing. was the summer of 1932 when Hemingway returned to Havana. Ernest had chartered a low-slung 34-foot cabin cruiser, the Anita, from a bootlegger named Josie Russell. Russell, who made over 150 rum-running trips between Key West and Cuba, knew the water. <laughs> he brought with him his mate, a rummy named That's Joe funny. Rump. Bootlegger. Once they cleared Havana a customs, bootlegger. they hired a black Cuban as fishing mate, and headed out for what promised to be a superb marlin season. The Anita's four fishing lines fed out from the tip of the rods like long trailing whips. That is Directly so cool. off the stern, wooden teasers Can you imagine stole, bringing zigzagging Hemingway through to the water and fishing? churning up a white foam. Insane! Ernest Hemingway! Gracias! Heming Hemingway! Gracias! Heming Hemingway! Sweet Caroline Good times never seem so good Thank you for watching Name and Occupation in Depth. We come to you every single week. Now don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the content.
That's beautiful. Is that ready? Food? How's the food? It doing? is ready. It is ready and it's great actually. Okay. Nice cool. and hot. How about we uh, we take a break and then we uh, come back with uh, Frank. Thank you for watching Name and Occupation in Depth. We come to you every single week now don't forget to subscribe share and like the content everybody welcome, yeah we got food. chef francesco in the kitchen what's cooking good looking <laughs> so there was i mean <laughs> I mean, Cuban food, it is delicious. There's a lot of flavors. Um, one that I kind of looked and I've seen and I've done before is more of a like a, a Sunday afternoon uh, food that you want. It's called a Cuban Azul con Pollo. It is easy to make. You don't need a lot of ingredients. So uh, you can use some bone-in chicken or some boneless, depending how you like it. I use, the, I use a drumstick. But you, most of the times you use the thighs of drumsticks and the breast. If you like with the bone it kind of gives it a little bit more flavor uh so you season that chicken with some cumin salt and pepper and then you cook it in a pan with some olive oil don't bring it at too high you don't want it to burn especially with the flavors and the skin you don't want it to burn on the pan itself and then once it's cooked you take it out and then in the same pan right after you put a little bit more olive oil i put about let's say a quarter cup of the chicken stock or a chicken broth, just to kind of get the flavors out of the pan so they're not burning. And then you put a large a yellow onion, you put some bell pepper, two garlic cloves, and then you kind of like make it cooking until it's like al dente. You don't want to overcook, especially with the peppers. You don't want to overcook that. In the, in the, and it will continue cooking afterwards. Uh, so once you have that al dente paste, um, you add about a cup of white rice, uh, I washed the white rice quickly before, so just it comes a little bit thicker. Uh, so rinse the white rice, put about a cup of white rice. I put um, two cups of chicken stock. Uh, I put chopped uh, one chopped tomatoes. I chop it nice and chunky. I put about a teaspoon of turmeric, two bay leaves, one to two bay leaves, and about one teaspoon of oregano. Now I'm gonna bring this to you guys. So now it is ready to cook. So once you put all the ingredients with the rice, you put it on very, very low heat, as low as you can. I cook it in a cast iron, which is nice. Even on low heat, you get some nice cooking and some flavors. About 30 minutes to 40 minutes. If you have to, you can always add a little bit more chicken stock just to make sure it doesn't burn. And this is what it looks like. So you got lots of flavors, a wow. lot of juice. Okay, so once the juice is uh, pretty much done, so I use, like I said, the drumsticks. So I'm gonna plate that, guys, for you. You can see the plate, perfect. So about one to two drumstick. I put eight drumstick in my cast iron, and then you get some of that nice rice and red bed peppers. You can use some red Beautiful. and yellow just to mix it up. But the yellow Yum. coloring, 
I use is turmeric. So you put a little bit of turmeric when you're cooking your rice and then uh, you're able to, uh, so it's a, it's a one pot thing. So it doesn't take too much dishes and uh, it has a lot of smell, especially with the cumin comes out um, and you don't need to put a lot. You just need to put a couple of pinches and it's, it's so good guys. My daughter, as you saw, last video she came down she's like i wanted water but we i knew right away she wanted the food so i gave her a couple of plates and now they're enjoying it while doing the homework so uh, it's very easy i will post it up on our twitter on daisy's twitter and then you guys can see it but the recipe is simple and uh you can also add green peas on this like at this point or right before you put some frozen green peas uh it brings down the heat and also it makes it good. And I like it spicy. So I usually add some, um, I, especially after, I use some uh, cayenne pepper or some uh, chili flakes. It's, nice. <laughs> you guys have to try this. It's so easy and it's worth it. Nice job. Looks amazing. Looks good. I'm hungry. It is good. <sighs> good job, man. I'm going to have a bite or two for you, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we have like replication technology so you can just like somehow like just send like a piece, you know, like in I could Trek, probably like in, like in Star Trek, you know, like how they just you just think of what you want and it's there. He's going to drink it all. That's Blood why. Gates <laughs> have been let loose or will be soon. It sure looks like the whole world is changing. I want to be him. What? Again, like oh I yeah. Of me. Travel, if our yeah. if our show could become like his kind of show, I don't know. like we our, our style though, guess. but I don't know how educated, awesome. but we do make a guess. You know, that's where we're headed, man. That's the dream. Let's do it. I'm always promoting him, my boy, even though he's gone. Oh, I, I love remember. him. I have. It's funny because <laughs> when all the shows were playing, I would always watch the episode. And then Google where he is with the yes. restaurant. And exactly. then I would add it to my calendar. And I have so many di places yeah. that he went and I went to. In Vancouver, yeah. BC, me and Daisy went. We went to the re three of the restaurants he went to. And it was amazing. He, it, it's so good. He spent a lot of time in Canada, eh? In Quebec, he did a few of them in Quebec. Yeah. were interesting. And I think when he went yeah. to Labrador or in Newfoundland, I believe, too. He did, and he also went to Vancouver. Yeah, because there's Vancouver. a lot of layaways in Vancouver. So Montreal, did, I know he did yeah. one in Montreal. Toronto too, I believe. I yep, think. we did in Italy and we in uh, Venice, and we did in uh, in BC, Vancouver. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was but, great because I was going for work, and uh, Francesco was like, you know, I said, babe, you want to come along? I mean, I'll be busy working, but we can hang out at night. He was like, let's go. I got like so many <laughs> restaurants from Anthony Bourdain I want to check out. And he was like already like calling, making reservations. We hadn't even booked our flight. <laughs> let's see that. Whoa, what's this? Oh, that's cool. That's the, that's, look at that. Ooh, that looks yummy. Is that a fan? That's like a fan cover. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, it looks fascinating. So they cook the pizza upstairs and then bring it down. Yeah. That looks good. Thank you, Reuters. I have a report from Vienna that it's very good, the food. And she's our picky eater. Like, she will not <laughs> eat it. She doesn't like the food. And she says she's going for seconds. So you might you might see her soon. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so we have our special reporter, uh, Chris, from uh, live from Cuba. Yes. Tell us, well, how's the weather in Cuba? But, guys, everybody, it's not minus 20. But I'll tell <laughs> you, I had to pull out my tooth. You know, it was wonderful. Uh, the sun's good. 
It's, uh, but yeah, it, it was a little nipply a couple days ago. Um, cool, cool. The food's been fantastic. Got to say that as well. Yeah, Cuban food's good. Cool. Daisy, right. Daisy right. should it, should do the interview. I think. Right, Daisy. Right, Daisy's going to do the interview. Señora, señora, ¿cuál es su ocupación? ¿De qué trabaja? Camarera, camarera de bar. Oh wow, she's the bartender. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene que trabajar? ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene que trabajar? Aquí en este hotel. 19 years. Wow. 19 wow. years. Wow, 19 wow. years. Yeah. What's your name? Bueno, yo me llamo Daisy. Yo me llamo Daisy. Es mi esposo Francesco. Ah. Y Andrés. Y Andrés. Y Andrés. Mi amigo Chris quiere, quiere que les pregunte si, si usted ama a los canadienses y que si los ama a ellos sí, también. Como tengo... Llevo muchos años trabajando aquí. Tengo muchos amigos canadienses. Familia. Familia, familia. Familia. Bueno, mucho gusto, mucho gusto de conocerlo. Sí. Muchas gracias por pasar con nosotros un poquito de tiempo. Igualmente, igualmente, gracias. Yeah. Mucho gusto. Yeah. Hasta la vista. Hasta, Hasta la, la vista. vista. Hasta la vista. Like really. Yeah, I'd like to see Madame, Havana. Bonjour. Bonjour. Would you like to be part of this podcast? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, You're really quick, nice you job, guys. Really good reporting. I love the some pictures, pictures, Chris. It looks nice. Oh, the yeah. hotel looks oh, beautiful. Yeah, some... Oh, it really does. It really does. Are you able to go swimming? Are you able to go swimming in the ocean? Oh, we did. We did. Robin brought me in. Um, forced yeah, his hand. Forced I was forced a bit. The Portuguese man of war. Jellyfish, it's amazing. It's, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what caused it, why they're there now, but I never heard of this. But apparently, the tentacles are razor sharp. That's the crazy part. And they pick up these jellyfish on the beach, and the locals hold them out like this. The locals don't mess with it. That's how dangerous these are. I'd never heard of this. <laughs> and if anyone, if any of our listeners have ever heard of this, they need to tell us. Look at you that. Don't, you don't want to mess around with those things. You don't want to go swimming. No, you do not. Look, guys, no there's pictures of the man of war. Oh, wow. It's creepy. Eh? It's exactly that, right? These things are so dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. You don't want to swim with uh, jellyfish around. They can kill you. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. They're beautiful, but deadly. No. I want to blend it. I want to blend it. Let's give a little shot of grenadine. Do you have grenadine? Yeah. Let's give a little shot of grenadine. Just a little yes. bit. Yes. <laughs> so, so, this is what we've been drinking all week. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. right. right. Good job. Paul. Okay, let's turn the camera. Good job. How is yes. it strong? That right? looks good. Delicious. We rocked it. Christopher. Christopher. Absolutely. Let's say goodbye to our viewers. Yes. Hola. Hola. Hola from Cuba. Right. There's oh, only one fun. Benedetto. Oh, one Benedetto. Oh, one Benedetto. Oh, Nicely done. Uh, Nice. All right, guys. Chris. Good job, you know, guys. We're good. That's cool. Well, that thank you very much. And you know what? Getting back to the name and occupation, it's so much <laughs> fun to talk to people, ask where they're from. <laughs> and that's the richness, and that's what this show is all about, right? This is a crusade. We interviewed huh? a guy who hey. actually called this a crusade because I explained what this is all about. 
Yeah. It's a mission from God. It's something that we have to do, and we are doing it, and it's a crusade. And we are going to keep That's smile, it. okay? Take care, man. Have fun, Thank guys. You. Love you. It's awesome. Good job, Good job Love man. Safe travels back. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Hola. There you Wow, that was awesome. Oh, Thank you, Bob. We've wow. come on. What a Come show. On. Epic. What a show.